Are you looking at themes, the opening theme, and some of the logos, how it's changed over the years. The theme is a very well-known theme. It sounds science fiction, um, the beat, um, the accelerating beat, kind of getting you excited for the show. See, as we move into the 70s, it gets a little bit more stylized. Finally, a new um, one is brought in. The theme doesn't change that much. The evening news is on BBC One now, and it's followed by regional programs nationwide. And here on BBC Two, another of the five faces of Doctor Who, John Pertwee stars in episode one of Carnival of Monsters. see the special effects are able to create um, new things and so you could just imagine if you're in the 70s and you're watching this and you see the doctor's face materialize out of nothing so it's really interesting starting to bring in um, new special effects um, we see in the 1980s definitely takes on a new look a new feel <laughs> different from its the previous ones, uh, more instrumentation, a little bit more disco-y. Um, can see quite a different change. Beginning much different than what the previous themes were, um, kind of catches you off guard because it doesn't even set up what the uh, the theme has always been until almost a minute into it. And then with the relaunch in 2005, there's only been minor tinkering with the title. <laughs>
think this is the current one from um, maybe about a year ago that it shows. <laughs> Since then, there's been a little bit of minor tinkering, um, just with the graphics. The current one, the exact same as you just saw, except um, when the TARDIS kind of dissipates, the face of the new Doctor shows up. So, hearkening back to some of the first couple of seasons when the face of the Doctor would appear. So now, you basically have an overview of the Doctor, the new Doctor versus classic Doctor, the companions the TARDIS, and what some of the villains are.